Hello, this is Shiley from Sheepishly Made and MCS Live Sack. Today we will be completing the Chickadee Wet Felting and Needle Felting Wool Painting. If you are new to wet felting, make sure to watch the How to Wet Felt video before completing this video. It will go more in depth about all the supplies I'm showing here and how to wet felt. I will not be going over the details in this video. So these are the supplies I'll be using for wet felting, um, a towel, bubble wrap, a couple of rollers, some hot soapy water, fabric mesh, a hand towel, and goat milk soap. I have a goat milk soap bar. So I'll be showing you how to lay out the project. These are the different colors of wool we'll be using. I have white and brown. Um, the background color, if you're using my kits, that will vary. Um, I'll be using blue in this project. So first you wanna start laying out the wool going up and down. This will be layered and each layer will be going a different direction. So I'm gonna start going up and down using a layer of white on the bottom. And then on the top, I'm gonna use these varying shades of blue. You just wanna lay out a real thin layer. You don't need very much. Just grab the end of your roving and pull it apart. And now on to layer two, the wool will be going from left to right. We're gonna speed this up here. It's the same process. We're just going left to right, laying out varying colors for the background on the top and white on the bottom. And layer three, we'll be going up and down again with the fibers. And the final layer, left to right. So I'm gonna do the background colors first and then we will add the chickadee colors. On the bottom here, we're going to make a branch with our brown wool. So I'm taking long, thin strips of wool and making a branch with them. Be creative, make little branches and you can add more branch detail too when you're needle felting. And then for the chickadee, so you can use some of the tan to lay out the um, belly of the chickadee. We're just gonna lay out a rough shape here and then we will do the finer details when we're needle felting. And then the head of the chickadee is black and white. So we're gonna add some black here first. From the head, the chickadee should come down and scoop under for the belly. They're a very cute, small, compact bird. And then for its wings, they kind of have a grayish um, black wing. So I'm using a dark gray color to make a wing shape. And then I added a little bit of white. It's kind of like a sideways triangle on the head that traces to where the beak will be. And then we're going to start the wet felting process. So that's it for laying out the project for wet felting. So I'm just doing a quick intro to the wet felting here. I laid the, um, the wool down and then the fabric and mesh goes over top. And then you start wetting the project down with your hot soapy water just a little bit at a time. And you can pull the mesh off every once in a while and check it and adjust the wool a little bit if you need to. And then I'm gonna start felting it with my hands. Um, you wanna start out slow and slowly increase the agitation. And then I'm gonna start the rolling process. This is a real, um, just overview of wet felting. You need to watch the how to wet felt video um, for the full process. And then we'll skip ahead here to the end. So after rolling, you gotta do the pinch test to see if your uh, project feels like one piece or if it still feels like different fibers. If you can pull fibers apart, you need to roll it some more and felt it more before 
finishing it. So you want to make sure before you're done, you completely um, wash out your wool and let it dry completely before needle felting. So for needle felting, you'll need a mat below your project, some felting needles, and a few different colors of wool. I use a wool felting mat. So first I'm going to work on the head here, making the white part a little bit more bold and straight. When wet felting, the colors can move a little bit. So you want to be careful not to um, move them too much while wet felting, but needle felting, you can definitely make some adjustments how you like it. So I added the beak there right in front of where the white is, just a real small, short beak. And then it has some black underneath the head, kind of like on the neck there that comes down. If you're new to needle felting as well, I have a lot of needle felting tutorials on my channel that you can watch to um, get some more instruction on needle felting. And then the belly, I'm adding a little bit more tan, making the belly a little bit deeper. And also adding a little bit of um, some blended gray and tan. And then I'm going to make the eye here. So at first I ball up a little bit of black in my hand and kind of put it where I want it for the eye. And then take a little bit of white and I trace the outside edge of the eye with the white. You just need a very small amount here. I actually used a little bit too much. So I'm going to add a little bit more black. You just want the white showing just a very small amount to highlight the outside of the eye. I'm going to take a little bit of white and make the reflection in the eye. Just make a little white circle. And I usually like to put them on the top right corner of the eye. And now we're going to be working um, a little bit more on the wings here. So I'm taking some tan and gray and blending them together. So I take the two colors, lay them on top of each other, and then palm apart repeatedly until they're blended. It's not an exact blend, but it makes a very nice variation of color. So this is going to be the upper part of the wing. So right under the head, and then a little bit of highlight um, out to the tail. The tool I'm using is a multi-needle felting tool. I found mine on Amazon. You can find them in a lot of places. It can hold up to seven needles, I believe, but I only use four needles in it. And then I'm using a little bit of a darker um, gray mixed with a little bit of black for the wing. And then I'm going to make the wing a little bit bigger here bringing it down a little bit more into the belly. And then we'll make the legs on the bird. So you take a very small amount of black and you have the leg come down and then the little, the toes on the bird, they come out and kind of curl down. Just use a very small amount of black And I make like one angle in the toe, just a slight angle. Like if you were to hold your finger up, it'd be like it has like one knuckle. Now, if you were doing a more detailed project, it would actually look more like the finger and with its little talon there at the end. So it has three toes coming out, usually out front, and then one that kind of wraps around the back so it can grab hold of branches and, um, you know, different things to eat and twigs to make nests. 
And then we're going to make the second one here using the same technique. I decided here that I'd like the legs to come backwards a little bit more so it looks like it's crouching down and ready to fly. And that's the final part of the needle felting. So if you have any questions or comments, you can comment here on the video or send me an email or on Facebook or Instagram. You can reach me as well. Thank you for watching. You can find more kits like this on my Etsy shop. And we'll see you next time. Happy felting.